Okay, today is the 6th of May, and today is a measurement day at the Roche facility in Spich. And uh, we just see that um, this big wagon oops, um, has been placed here. The, and now here comes Mr. Beiser into uh, the video camera. Uh, he seems to have placed this drink over here, a glass of water. <coughs> and we'll see today it's now uh, 9.48 uh, a.m. and uh, at 9.45 uh, there should be the measurement starting today. Um, here at the very right, what you can't see in this moment is a, is a big tube. Uh, they just rearranged the camera for a moment before I began to record. There you could see it, that the big tube is still standing at the right side over here, but not inside the video camera picture now. So, it will be interesting to see what they are doing now. No, he seems to speak to somebody, which is not in the picture. TV set still running. But the way, by the way, I just figured out this night how how they might have done it, uh, how they faked it with a frequency uh, variable drive. Um, frequency inverter, maybe in the next room, um, powered via this antenna on this very left control box here, this this one here, this antenna, so they could change the frequencies in the next room, which then puts in the, via hidden cable the power to the directly to the generator um, connectors and then um, the power just comes down via this black big cable goes here into this power meter and a look power meter and comes out via this yellow cable goes in this measurement box which is really just a measurement box with some switches and some relays and some uh, um, electronic fuses and uh, from there um, it goes um, near the back side we have this cable here to this big box where also the 7 amp hours lead acid batteries are located uh, here and um, from this box goes, um, which you can't see here, a small three cable um, thing to this box. This probably the control. And this box is probably measured the output load, which goes. Uh, this is the, the complete output where all the power comes out and goes via this cable down. And here, um, here's probably inside also a small shunt where they can measure the um, voltage difference. If if you if you if you pulled uh, the plug from this uh, heating panel here, and um, if they measure it, they probably via this three um, blue black red cable um, it's probably a uh, supply voltage from also from the batteries for this control box over here and one of this cables is probably a um, control single line like um, E square bus or something like this or serial uh, uh, line so they can control from this box this control uh, CPU here, or control circuit board, which is inside here, and 
can uh, transmit via this antenna the control signal to the next room where a variable frequency drive uh, frequency inverter is located and this uh, controls then the frequency of this hidden uh, power fed into the generator connectors and if he pulls if Mr. Weiser here pulls the plugs from one of these um, heating panels it um, this is registered by this shunt which is sitting in this box and gives a control signal to this control circuit over here and this antenna then sends a signal to the next room hidden frequency inverter and it changes the frequency a bit so also the pump will change in frequency and so one can hear then a different uh, noise because then also the the buoyancy part and luster will change a bit and, and the pump speed will change a bit because the friend frequency has changed a few hertz and um, so the generator just is only working in idle mode it's not connected so also the small gear is sufficient to drive the, the generator which just runs in idle mode and does not have, have any counter torque because its outputs are totally open and so <laughs> the whole system can work so the power comes hidden via the uh, variable frequency drive frequency inverter from the next room through this uh, connector um, beam directly goes up to the um, generator connectors where only this is hidden power is connected and not the generator at all and then comes as I said down here we have this black cable so it's sort of probably a really easy system <laughs> to, to, to fake the frequency also the, with a uh, variable frequency drive frequency inverter it has the advantage that um, if people will measure at this measurement day externally via scope or frequency meter they will see the same numbers as they will see on this frequency meter here on this uh, control panel yeah. all right um, so it's pretty easy how they did it we always wondered why they have this antenna over here <laughs> now it's pretty clear how they have done it maybe they also have uh, connected uh, a load resistor um, across the motor uh, across the generator so that uh, they could control this this resistor via an electronic switch so they could also load it a bit uh, this, this generator so that it produce a little counter torque all the time and when he pulls the plug out of uh, he pulls the plug from this panel out of the, the connector box over here then they might just release this load resistor from the generator so that it uh, really runs on an idle mode could also be but then the problem would be if they would have done it this way that uh, they would also need to tweak the frequency over here and if they would measure uh, the output directly here from here or from one of these uh, connector boxes on the floor they would still see constant 50 Hertz frequency which would not fit to this frequency change over here so to make it still better the fake they probably have a variable frequency drive frequency inverter in the next room and this is controlled via the antenna then 
Um, so, all right. Um, just will make still another video if you can see then later more. All right. If you like this, uh, just give me a thumbs up and please post your comments and share it on Facebook. Many thanks. Okay.